Okay, so something I've been working on lately, and I meant to show you guys this in the daylight, and I will try to, but I wanted to shoot this little bit before I forgot about it. Putting up this cedar tongue and groove ceiling on our back porch. And uh, I, you know, planned it out to where, well, I didn't really plan it out this way, but I, I did the best I could to plan and thought I had thought about everything, and of course I missed these two light fixtures. Um, but what I did was before I started, I measured from this wall to that wall, and knowing that the boards here have a five inch reveal, I wanted to measure to space out to see what this total dimension was, and it came out to be 111 inches average, which is pretty close to an even increment of five. So if I just started off on that wall with a five inch board and come across, I ended up with this goofy little one inch strip, which is really going to be really hard to work with. So what I did was on the first row over there, I don't know if you can tell or not, there's a three inch strip. I ripped one all the way down so that I should have about a two to three inch strip over here as well. Just be a little bit easier to work with. But what I want to show you tonight was this stupid fixture because I thought about, you know, the reveal issue or the starter and finisher strip. I did not think about these receptacles. And so it just so happened because of the shift that I did to put the receptacle right in the middle of the board. This would have been a lot easier to do if this electrical box was on the edge of a board to where the boards split it on the seam, just because then I could have just done open face cuts. So what I had to do, kind of had to cheat a little bit. I got a board, uh, you know, went for a 32 inch board so I could just span either side here, and then held it up here as best I could, just kind of eyeballed it and just cut a hole with a hole saw and what I knew would be the middle of the box, a two and a half inch hole saw, or two inch. Um, and then used a flush trim route, basically held it up here, eyeballed it, traced the red line, flush trim router, trimmed it, and then just kept doing that over and over and over until it was a good fit. Now then to get it up here, there's not enough space on this edge to, to be able to put that board in and rotate it up. It would've broke the, it would've broke the groove off. So I actually had to loosen this board, pull it down a little bit, and loosen this board and if you can see that gap is actually not because of that that's because of me being a dummy and using a factory end I didn't notice that I did it so I got a rough factory end there trying to line up with a smooth end um, but I actually had to pull these two back down a little bit and then wedge this one in and drive ball back up so the nails that are in here and here-ish and down here-ish have all been worked and they're probably a little loose but it should be okay they're well supported on down on either side so I just want to explain to you how I did that electrical box um, and I'm gonna have to do it again because I've got one more right there but other than, those are the only two really uh, difficult parts of this uh, the rest of it's just you know pain in the butt to work overhead but I'll try to show you in daylight if nothing else to show you when it's all done it's gonna look freaking beautiful so you know is it worth the money probably not uh, I could have just put an easy hardy plank ceiling up and been just fine but it's gonna look pretty um, so yeah I guess we'll I guess we'll enjoy that at some point at some point I think I'll sit on the back porch drink a beer and I'll look up and say gosh I love that ceiling I'll make it a point to do that at least once at least once don't know when that'll be Anyway, like I said, if you're doing a project like this, before you ever nail the first board in place, think about all of the things that you're going to have to cut around and work around. Because once you get going, it's hard to go back and try to change something. You know, I do have a little bit of flexibility with this stuff because it is not in-matched. So there's not a tongue and groove here. So that helps a little bit because to my, they're 12-foot boards from the factory, but my joists are theoretically 16 on center, but some are 16 and a half, one's 15 and a half. Or ones, yeah, 15 and a half. So, you know, I can't just cut a whole bunch of boards at 16 inch increments or, you know, yeah, 16, 32, 48, whatever. I tried doing that at first, seemed like a good idea, but then I started having where, you know, I was losing length or I was gaining length to where then I would get to where a board would be too long or too short. So now I'm having to just measure every single one and make that little tweak. This was a bear, happy to have it done. I think I'm gonna get this board put up and this one to span all the way across so that I can kind of close this out, say it's done, and that'll be it for the night. Okay, so what I wanted to show you guys that I couldn't the other night when I was showing you that uh, receptacle 
was these little clothespins. And this is not my idea. I saw this off another guy on YouTube, but I wanted to just share it so good information gets out there. These things are a lifesaver when you're working on a ceiling like this because you're, you don't have a way to, to hold the board up while you, you know, you have to go kind of end to end with it and try to work that tongue and make sure it's all secure. Now on a shorter board, it's not that big of a deal because it'll, it'll you kind of get it started, it'll hold itself up there. But on a longer board over about, I don't know, eight feet, seven, eight feet, where you just can't really support it all with your own wingspan, these things are critical. So, you know, I, I put up, I only managed to put up maybe one or two actual full 12 foot lengths up here. Um, the rest of them all had to cut to fit or had to cut uh, to give a good break in the <clears throat> in the joints, you know, because you don't want two, two joints back to back. Um, so some of them I had to cut, actually I could have put a 12 footer up, but then it would have lined up with another one, you know, so didn't want to do that. But anyway, yeah, these little clothespins are awesome. And all it is, I took three pieces of scrap, um, took one piece that was about a foot long and ripped it in half. So you can see this is only about three inches wide. And then just took a little block here off of it and nailed it together. And I just bang, 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 nailed it together with the trim nail, not that, or with the, yeah, with the nail that I'm using. Uh, you no, know, nothing fancy about it, but what it does is it puts a little squeeze on it. So if this board tries to hang down, this top board supports on this last run that's been nailed in securely. So threw one up here, one up here. Again, this piece I'm working on right now, it's, it's about six and a half feet. So it's hardly um, necessary really to have this up here. It's like five and a half feet. Um, so it's really not necessary, but I want to put them up here just to show you what I was doing. So once you, you know, you get your board set up here, like I said, see, it's, it's holding anyway because I got it started. But you just throw it up there, hold it real loose, and then just put that on. You know, so they go on super easy. You don't have to secure them with anything. You don't have to clamp them. Um, and yeah, just wanted to show you that. It helps a ton on a longer board, especially since I'm doing this as a one-man show, you know. Uh, I've got two people and somebody can hold the other end, probably not a big deal, but as a one-man show, absolutely critical. So anyway, we're going to keep pecking away at this. My goal today is to at least get that other light done, but, you know, it's early afternoon, so if I can keep going all day and the kids don't slow me down too much, maybe I'll get a good portion of it done.